Uh, Terry, your thoughts on the nil-nil draw with St Johnston today? Uh, Inverness Kelly Thistle nil. I, mean, I can't get my head around that one, but uh, look, you know, we never set out to break the record of scoring in every game. It's been a bonus, really. We scored in 25 out of 26 games, um, and of those 26 matches, only two teams have been us. We had three defeats. So, you know, St Johnston wanted to beat us today. They wanted to, according to one of their players, burst our bubble. But um, our bubble is pretty tough. It's, uh, it, you know, refuses to be broken, refuses to be burst. Um, and we move on now to Ross County on Wednesday. So, you know, these players put a massive shift in. They've, um, they've gr ground it out today, if that's the phrase. But, um, you know, they worked hard for each other, defended well. I thought the back four particularly were excellent. Matthew Cooper was, was brilliant in the, uh, at the heart of the uh, defence. And everybody put the you know a real shift in you know, players out on their feet, but it still kept on going, you know. And you know they're battling like mad for the cause, and I think it's a great point for us. You know, it keeps us in second place, obviously with the results going our way. But if you'd have said at the start of uh, uh, July that we're going to, you know, at the end of 2012, we're going to be second top of the SPL, I'd have said, well, you must be drinking some of my red wine because, you know, that's that would have exceeded any uh, ambition or expectation from us. But we are there. And I think we deserve to be there because of the football that we've played, the goals that we've scored, and the way these boys have gone about their work. And they're a credit to themselves and their families and the club. And, um, you know, we want to stay there. And so one more 90 minutes to go before they have a break, and we'll look forward to that. You have scored a barrel load of goals this season. Perhaps it was a day for the defences to be on top, and as you like to say, you're, you're back for, I thought, were tremendous today. Well, it's a clean sheet as well. We don't have that many of them this season, but um, when we do there, they're hard earned and well fought for, uh, for and um, they certainly did that. You know, there was a bit of blood spilled out there today from one or two, and a lot of effort. And uh, when you know they, they, they did get through, St Johnson, Gregory Taylor got through. There was Antonio Ruggiero to make a very good save as well. So I thought we started the game really well. Um, St Johnson came back into it uh, in the first half, pretty even Stevens, and they had, you know, St Johnson had probably the, the better of the chances in the second half. But I always felt that we could score, and even when we threw on. Two 18-year-olds and Nick Ross as well. Nick Ross, you know, great to see him back. But Phil Roberts and Connor Pepper, they made a good contribution to the team as well. So you know, we ended up with three 18-year-olds on the pitch, which is, which is pretty good. You know, pretty good for the, for the, for the club and for the youth system too. But um, no, it's, I'm delighted with the point to be fair because this, this is a really hard ground to come to, and you know, St Johnson will be very much up for the game today. I think you touched on it already, but the performance of, of Matthew Cooper, only second SPL start for the club. I thought. He, he handled things pretty well today. Yep. I mean, you can't, you know, give players, um, you know, young players especially, um, experience like that on the training field. You know, they have to come out and, and, and enjoy it and, and cope with it and deal with it. Uh, and he did that. A couple of things that he, you know, little errors, but he'll, he'll iron them out. But overall, his positional sense was good. His timing was good. His clearances were good. He headed the ball well. He was comfortable on the ball. And, and you know, he learned, he learned a heck of a lot from that. That's, that's worth about 150 training sessions, 200 training sessions. But, uh, you know, that's a, that's a great lesson for him. But um, I thought you know, the lads around him helped him enormously. But it wasn't just a great defensive display from the back four and Antonio. The midfield worked the socks off, the front men as well. Everybody's, you know, put, put a shift in. And the more the game went on, I thought, we're just going to nick this. We're just going to get one chance and score. And we, we had a good break, and Phil Roberts passed to Owen Tudor Jones was just a little bit short. Otherwise, you know, Owen would have been bearing down on goal. He would have needed a taxi to get back, I think, if he'd have scored. But, uh, you know, it's just great. But, you know, the lads are out on their feet. But, you know, we've got a good point. We're still second at the table. Highland Derby on Wednesday to come. You know, bring it on. Yeah, you finished 2012 second in the SPL. 2013, as we said yesterday, is looking to be a great year for Cali Thistle. And all starts with another Highland Derby. Yeah, we look forward to that. I think the, the match was off, wasn't it? So, um, they'll be allegedly a little bit fresh in the nest, but. You know, we're unbeaten going there, we're unbeaten against them this season and we, we, we want to keep it like that. So, um, But we'll certainly enjoy it and uh, you know, it's, a, it's another one, part four of the, of the, the Highland instalment, the Highland soap opera and, and we look forward to that. You've enjoyed the, the games already this season, you've had the better of Ross County, you'll be looking to, to make sure that continues on Saturday. Yeah, we had the better of quite a few teams in the SPL too, so um, I think we've lost one match in, I don't know, was it 19, 20? Well, I've lost count because I'm not, I'm not being blasé about it. But, it's just a nice uh, stat to have that we've, you know, we've, we've, uh, the run was ended in quite abrupt fashion by Motherwell, but the lads have still kept on and kept going. Um, and you know, only three teams have beaten us this season. Obviously, two really with Motherwell twice, but we just, we're just delighted with, you know, we, we, with what we've done. Haven't achieved anything yet. We're in a great position, and we want to make 2013 uh, a brilliant year, a special year for us, as you say. So, yeah, good start to 2013, but. You know, the first match is, uh, is all important, and that's the, the Highland Derby. Teddy, thank you for joining us on MFR2 Super Scoreboard Life. Have a, a happy new year when it comes to you. And the last fish and chips of 2012 for us as well. Thank you very much. Excellent.